Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, Dogecoin, Solana. There are over 20,000 cryptocurrencies in the world listed on over 600 different exchanges globally. If you are into crypto, metaverse and NFTs, you must already be knowing what cryptocurrencies are and how do they work. But if you are new to the crypto world and you would like to know what cryptocurrencies are, what Bitcoin is and how blockchain works, then you should definitely watch my video on cryptocurrencies and blockchain first because in that video, I have explained everything about blockchain bitcoin and cryptocurrencies using very simple and easy to understand language i will also leave the link of that video in the description below in today's video i'll be talking about another cryptocurrency called helium with their token ticker hlm you should not get confused this helium with this helium one has token ticker hlm while the another one is identified as hnt and today i will be talking about this helium let me make one thing clear here before getting into more detail it's helium token not helium coin both token and coins are type of digital asset or digital currencies but there's a slight difference between these two though both are built on blockchain technology a crypto coin is a form of digital currency that is native to its own blockchain it stores value acts as a medium exchange for example bitcoin ethereum cardano are crypto coins on the other side a crypto token is built for a decentralized project on an already existing blockchain meaning they rely on another blockchain in helium's case it's a crypto token which is based on trc20 also known as tron and to make sure that i get everything right about the helium project i visited helium's headquarter in seoul south korea and met with the ceo and founder of helium project mr Ho Song Min myself. And to give you some background about the project and Helium Foundation, Helium project is actually owned by a company called Heland that operates bio healthcare platform and provides personalized healthcare services. It also has its own lab called Heland Lab, which I would discuss later in the video. The company is also building their own metaverse platform, and this very company is the entity that issues Helium token. They also have their subsidiary in India called Meta Ocean Ventures Private Limited based in Delhi and CR region. I discussed with Mr. Hu about the Helium project and their plan for the future and he explained that Helium is a project that aims to innovate the healthcare system using blockchain technology. He further explained that Helium project is a blockchain based token network that safely and very reliably stores and manages high value personal information such as any individual's genetic data. He also explained that Helium project can predict preventable diseases in advance and they provide personalized healthcare solution based on your or any consumer's DTC genetic analysis. Well, as expected, he explained to me using very complicated crypto terminology. But don't worry, because I'm going to break it down for you in a very simplified manner so that it will be easy for you to follow up and understand everything. So basically, helium can predict diseases in any individual in advance, meaning with their genetic testing, they will be able to tell you whether you are likely to develop any diseases in the future or not and based on your result they will provide personalized healthcare solution so that you can prevent those diseases in advance before they can cost you a great fortune but how do they do it right they do it through their DTC, direct to consumer genetic testing. In this, DNA sample is collected using oral epithelial cell collection and then DNA is extracted. After DNA amplification and gene identification analysis is done, report is published and the individual or the medical consumer can see their report or their test result on their phone using Heyland Lab application. But how does that work, right? That was also my question. Mr. Hugh explained to me giving the example of Hollywood actress Angelina Jolie and Apple founder late Steve Jobs. In Angelina Jolie's case, she had done the DNA testing and the results showed that she had over 90% chances of her developing breast cancer in the future, which was reduced to below 5% after a mastectomy was performed on her. For those who do not know, mastectomy is a surgery in which the breast is removed. Another example is late Steve Jobs, who also through so genome sequencing found out that it was cancer that was actually killing him. Helium boastfully claims to be capable of doing over 80 types of genetic testing that includes health problems as small as hair fall to as big as obesity or even cancer. So once you get your DTC genetic testing done, based on your result, they will provide personalized healthcare services and product that you will be able to purchase online or offline using their Metamol. And not only that, as I mentioned before, they are building their own metaverse in which any user will be able to participate in several social, economic and cultural activities. 
such as they will be able to play games, uh, learn a language, attend live performances, receive medical services or health checkup, getting expert consultation, shoppings and many more things. As I was told, the company has many ambitious goals and plans and also they are partnering with many domestic and foreign companies. As you can see on the company's white paper that I have accessed from CoinMarketCap, this is their overall roadmap for the next few years. At the end, you can see that their target by 2025 is to secure 10 million DTC genetic data worldwide. I asked them what they are going to do about it as these uh, DNA data are kind of sensitive information and what if it gets hacked or it gets leaked or if any company misuses it. In response to that, he first explained to me the challenges and problems with the existing healthcare and medical information industry. Since medical and healthcare information is managed by centralized institutions such as clinic or a hospital, the exchange of information is not well connected. Therefore, medical consumers end up doing random tests and thus spending unnecessary Bill. Because centralized medical institutions manage valuable information, there is always a risk of data hacking or data leak. Numerous information regarding health, clinic and hospital are shared on various platforms, making it difficult for a medical consumer to obtain proper and right information for them. Helium wants to solve these existing challenges in the medical and healthcare industry using blockchain technology and create an ecosystem that pursues seamless data connection between individuals and medical service providers. Not only this, before the DNA testing is done, medical consumer will be able to manage how they want to use their medical information. If they do not want to share their information, they can uncheck this box while filling the form. Helium's DTC genetic data is double encrypted and is stored using blockchain technology to protect it from hacking. And non-fungible token meaning NFTs uses blockchain technology to verify the actual owner and it is used to authenticate the originality and ownership of their data. And those who allow their information to be shared with other institutions, every time their information is shared with any company, the user will also receive a portion of reward from it. The other thing the company is working on to build is healthcare town and bio hotels in different countries as I showed earlier in this video in their company's roadmap. To me personally, Helium project seems to be very unique, promising and transforming. So, so far I think I have explained everything to you in this video about the Helium token and what the project actually entails. If you want to know more about Helium token, I will leave their official website and their social media URLs in the description below. Not only that, I will also leave their white paper and coin market cap URL in the description below. You can go and check it. So far, Helium token is available for purchase on different exchanges such as Vitex Global, Global, Bitforex, Fobilgate and soon it is going to be listed on one of the Korean exchanges and the company is also planning to list their coin on India's largest exchange which is CoinDCX. If you are interested in buying Helium token or if you are willing to invest in Helium project, I will leave the link in the description below. You can go and buy from there. But very important before you make any purchase or before you buy anything make sure to do your own research because my video is only for educational purpose so that's all in this video i hope you understood what helium token is and if you have any opinion any thoughts or any suggestions about helium token please make sure to write in the comment section below i'll see you next time in some other video till then bye bye